I'm starting out by applying my H2O Plus hydrating treatment to use as a moisturizer and primer for my face. After that, I'm going in with my favorite Benefit foundation and setting that with my Makeup Forever powder. Once I'm done with that, I'm just contouring my face with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Using my Coastal Sense eyeshadow brush, I'm applying on a light nude to my lids and a taupey brown into my crease. You couldn't see Selena's eye makeup in the photos, but since her lips were very dark, I kept my look very natural. Using the Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner, I'm creating a very small wing on my upper lash line. Then I'm going in with my favorite mascara at the moment and applying it to my upper and lower lashes. For blush, I'm using my MAC blush in the shade Desert Rose and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. MAC's lipstick in Diva looked very similar to Selena's, so I'm just applying that onto my lips. Selena's lips also had a really pretty shine to them, so to add in that moisture and shine to my lips, I'm just applying on the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Dolly. Selena had her hair pulled back in a high casual bun, so I'm just going to twist my hair into a ballerina bun. Using as many bobby pins as you like, secure your bun in place. After that, I'm pulling out my baby hair to frame my face and mess up the look. To ensure my hairstyle will not fall out throughout the day, I am grabbing my Style Sexy Hair Texturizing Spray and just spraying it everywhere. Now that we're done with the makeup and hair, it's time for the outfit. Starting off with pants, I found these distressed boyfriend jeans from H&M. I also found a plain black t-shirt from Charlotte Russe and a structured blazer from H&M that's similar to Selena's. I purchased this navy blue purse from Target which strangely looks pretty similar to Selena's and for shoes I got these plain simple heels from Forever 21. Now for the accessories, I found all of them from Forever 21, including these cat eye sunglasses, a gold chain necklace, and gold hoop earrings. Last but not least, the nails. I'm starting out by painting all of my fingers black except for the ring finger because we're going to be adding an accent color. So I'm choosing the Zoya Nail Polish in Neve. With its high pigmentation, I only had to apply on two coats of the nail polish and I think this color really works well with the bag from Target with the blue and purple undertones in it. To try out most of the products featured in today's video, be sure to check out Ipsy in the description box. Don't forget to comment down below which celebrities look you would like me to recreate next.